Welcome to this short video on studying clinical psychology at HKU. Clinical psychology is both an academic research field as well as an applied profession. At HKU, our clinical faculty members conduct active research programs that cover a wide range of mental health-related topics and provide trainings for the next generation clinical psychology practitioners in Hong Kong. Next, please allow me to give you a brief introduction about what kinds of knowledge and information you may gain from joining us. Clinical psychology as a field is primarily concerned with mental health problems. So what are some examples of mental health problems? Perhaps the first thing that comes into your mind is stress. Indeed, many of us conduct research on how people handle stressors. Similarly, clinicians spend a considerable amount of effort on helping people to better cope with life stressors. Anxiety and depression are among the common mental health problems related to stress. In addition, difficulties in daily routines such as sleep problems, concentration and attention problems, or having a hard time in social life are also subjects within the scope of clinical psychology. Finally, problems like hallucinations and delusions are also among the matters we care about. So how do clinical psychologists help tackle these issues? The answer lies in scientific research and clinical services. At HKU, our faculties lead research labs covering research topics on both psychopathology and interventions. Research on psychopathology aims at better understanding the nature of mental health problems. It covers a wide range of topics. For instance, one of the most fundamental questions is what phenomena should be considered as abnormal versus normal, and how should we define and classify different types of mental disorders? Questions such as how we decide whether a person is suffering from clinical depression or anxiety, and is social anxiety versus a fear of spiders the same type of problems are studied under psychopathology. Another type of research is to answer what causes and maintains a mental health problem. The modern view of many mental health problems is that multiple factors contribute to the problem. For example, to answer what makes people more likely to be depressed, we study genes, brain, physiology, behavior, thinking pattern, and personality. We also study family environment, social relationships, and other life stressors. By studying how these various factors interact, we hope to gain a better understanding of these mental health problems. Besides figuring out what causes the problems, clinical psychology scientists also conduct research on developing better intervention programs at various levels. Some intervention studies target on helping people conquer specific disorders, such as treatments for phobia. Some intervention studies help people resolve specific issues, such as how to improve sleep quality. By doing so, researchers help generate applicable knowledge to improve the well-being of people who suffer from these problems. Moreover, intervention has a much broader scope than just the treatment. Given that mental health issues typically involve the household environment as well as the society, Research teams at HKU also study how to implement programs at the community level so that we can intervene earlier and before the problem gets too severe. The other important component of our training is on clinical practice. The clinical psychology area provides professional training programs for clinicians in Hong Kong. Clinical psychologists in the field apply our knowledge to directly help people improve their quality of life. Clinicians trained from our programs conduct assessment to figure out what the problem the person is experiencing and what are the possible causes. Then, based on the assessment, we provide treatment recommendations. Clinicians also provide interventions to directly help the individual in need. For example, many times we can help people feel better by helping them to change the way they think and the way they behave. And of course, it is often a teamwork. To achieve these goals, we work together with other health professionals, such as educational psychologists, social workers, and medical doctors to help improve people's well-being. Okay, after this brief introduction, if you are interested in getting to know more about our programs, please find more information from our websites.